Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this one. I really do appreciate it. I apologize for my voice again. It's still screwed up from the flu, but I really want to get these out, so I'll churn through. Hope you, hopefully you can understand me. Uh, I want to thank my uh, new buddy, uh, Mr. Porter. He sent me an email saying he loves the videos with narration, so we're going to do more of them. Uh, this video is a little shorter. It's a cool little trick uh, about working a popper. Uh, some people think of a popper as a low percentage bait, almost like when you've caught fish all day. Now let's see if we can get one on a popper, you know. And uh, you know, I, I grew up bass fishing like a lot of people, and I kind of felt the same way. But with striped bass fishing, there are times where the fish will hit a popper better than anything else. It's not terribly common, but on a day like this where it's overcast, pretty calm, fish are feeding near the surface. The popper outfished everything on days like this this past fall. So definitely work it into your arsenal if you haven't used one before. It's just a fantastic way to catch fish. It's just really, really uh, cool. I don't care how old you are. You are always excited when you see an explosion on a popper. It's just, it just hits you right downside in, you know, in the primals. You know, you just live for that stuff. Uh, the most common problem with a popper is yanking the popper away from the fish when you see the boil, right? Uh, a lot of common fixes for that was people say don't yank until you feel, you know, until you feel, until you feel. Uh, that never worked for me because I'm watching the popper. So as soon as I see an explosion, I'm not just going to crank till I feel. You want to jerk and yank. For years, I used softer rods, shorter, softer rods. So if I yanked too soon, the rod would bend all the way down and not move the popper too much, so I'd hook the fish more. Uh, but softer rods are really hard when you're trying to work a popper. You have to yank the thing like crazy to get the popper to look right, so that's not really a good option. Plus, you have no backbone when you're fighting a fish. What I found that really works for me is when the fish hits the popper, say something, anything, before you set the hook. I'll always say something like, yeah, or he got it, or here we go, and then I'll set the hook. I make sure I say something before I yank. It just gives that extra split second, almost like calling the hook set before you do it. And that one split second changed everything. I mean, I'm getting such high hookups. It's hard to do it first because you're going to go, holy cow, and just yank hard. But train yourself with it, really pay attention, and then you'll be able to do it easily. It didn't take me long to work it in. It's almost like when you're teaching kids how to punt a football. You tell them as they let go of the football, say the word drop before you lift your leg up so you don't kick too soon. You're for little kids. It's, it's very similar. So if you watch any of the videos, especially the ones I post this year because I did a lot of popper videos, every time you see me set the hook, I'll say something before I swing the rod. You'll hear me say, you know, whatever, just something like, he got it, or here we go, or yes. So in this video, it's a good popper video. All three of us are working poppers. We catch four or five fish right here steadily. So someone's always hooked up here for, for a bit, and I wanted to include it. And uh, pay attention here uh, to what I say before I set the hook. It's a cool little trick, and it really can make a difference. And I hope you guys dig it. Hey, man, I really appreciate you guys watching this one. I'll come talk to you again in a few minutes here when I show you the popper hookup. But please like and subscribe and share and all that stuff. It really does help me out. And YouTube's getting tougher these days. So I really do appreciate you guys who have been steadily supporting us. You guys are the best. I love you. Mean it. Come on in here. Oh, look. Look at that. Oh, that's a Get in there, Tom. Because that plug is going to see something. Oh, yeah. I told you it would. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That plug just looked too good not to be here. <laughs> All right, if you watch my buddy uh, John here, Tours, he goes by the old school method of don't set the hook at all. He just works the plug until the rod bends over. 
and it works great for him. He's really good at it. So you see him here. He's just working that plug fast and furious, come and he on, really doesn't set the hook. Yeah, I knew you did. See that? I knew you did. As soon as he felt it and the rod started to bend over, that's when he kind of like set the hook. Great patience. Works for him. Doesn't work for me, though. <laughs> All right, so I didn't see any fish breaking, so I just decided to cast out on the same side John is on because, you know, I know those fish are chasing his plug. So I kind of got lucky his fish swims right in front of my plug right here. And I know there are followers. See his uh, fish and listen to me. Oh, you got it. Woo! Oh, hear that no. one little word I said? Slow mo. There's John's fish. There's my popper right behind his. Vacuum feed. That bass sucked that popper down. I just saw the popper disappear. Here it is again. Full speed. Oh, you got it. Woo! Boom. Oh, no. Really works for me. It's something I think a lot of people will really uh, benefit from. Just a cool little trick I just wanted to share. Say something before you swing. You must know what you're doing. Yeah. That's a pretty fish there. I can that judge. My arm is killing me, man. <laughs> Slinging his popper all day. It's a good, good pain, bro. Look real big. I was committed to working out that new judge rod on this day, and I threw that popper all day long. Luckily, caught tons and tons of fish. It, I, it kicked my on? butt, but it was such a good, oh, yeah. good pain, you know. Now stop, stop! I want to show you off. I'm gonna let you go. Another three guys fish fishing with pop. three different poppers, all different oh, designs. God. So, any popper would have worked on this day. I have found though that those clear poppers work more consistently than any of the, the colored ones I've used. Especially when there's small bait around. Tours is using the new judge rod in the spinning version and I'm using the bait casting version here. If you watch John cast that thing, it's a seven foot tent rod. These are all he extra heavy actions. See how just the end of my rod bends, but the whole lower half stays very stiff. It uh, gives you a lot of power that way, but you still have nice sensitivity to tip. You can throw small baits with it, but it's really designed for chucking big stuff. Your bigger poppers and your uh, big glide baits. What did I miss? What did I do? It's uh, wrong there. I think it's my favorite signature rod, actually. A little expensive, but man, is it worth it. Very, very unique blank. Right See how John just kind of flips that thing? You can't. They're everywhere. Focus a bit more on tours right here with that rod. Watch how lightly he flips that rod out for the first cast. Screen is lit up with fish. That rod fish is so light. So awesome. You'll see his hook set method. Watch this. Again. See that? He just works the plug until he feels the rod bend, and then he sets the hook. Excellent discipline. If you guys can do it that way, man, do it. Hopefully between these two ways, find something that works for you. And if you have any tricks you'd like to share, I'm always looking for new methods, always looking to learn, so please put them in the comments. That'd be great. Absolutely. I wouldn't I wouldn't be afraid to bucktail fluke with this. I'm gonna talk about the judge rod here a little bit because Rich Colson makes them. He's what I call a double veteran. He was in the Marines and he came out of the Marines in the eighties. And when nine eleven happened, he re enlisted as an older man. I mean, that's impressive. Where are you, little guy? He makes my sig sig signature rods. Really great human being. John's using the judge here, the new judge. It's uh, my newest signature rod by Rich Colson. Has a counterweight system, has a carbon fiber grip, so very sensitive. It is a super high-end blank. 
it's just a composite blank and the bottom here is wrapped with carbon fiber it stops here so it gives it a lot of stiffness in the bottom a lot of power in the bottom but it's very soft at the top and the reason i like that is you get uh sensitivity but it's not brittle rock you know it's not you know it's not this, something it, it, and not only that it threw from half ounce to three yeah. ounce plugs effortlessly mm -hmm. it wasn't as if I had to do anything to adjust. Right. And that's really the idea, you know. Just trying to, you know, for guys who want to get a little extra distance, maybe fish in a bank. It's good for that, fish in the surf even. Yeah, that's the idea. It's, you know, it's stiff enough we could work a popper, keep it really high, keep that popper skipping across the surface without sinking. And th these are extra heavies. It's just the heaviest they make, so you can get them lighter if you'd like. But the idea was to get them heavy was we wanted a beast of a rod, something to throw big poppers, three, four ounce, something you could chuck way the heck no, out there. No problem with right. this rod. I don't see, I mean, I threw everything today from here. Yeah. Uh, Just to give you an idea how versatile. This is what uh, Justin was throwing with it. Yeah. With the spinning judge. He was throwing this yesterday. When these are my signature rods, the idea is these rods are designed for me you know it's for what i do for my dream rod there's nothing i can do this to make it better for me it's as good as it's going to get for me and it might not be what, what you guys want but i think most guys will uh, be very very happy with it you know tommy's using he's using a hundred dollar 110 dollar uh right mcgill rod that i've had for years and years and he's caught just as many fish on it so you absolutely don't need a judge to uh catch fish you can catch as many fish with this but if you want something really special counterweighted blank with a carbon fiber grip you feel everything and that awesome carbon fiber lower section of the rod reinforced killer rod it's it's become like a like a all hands rod you can do, you can do almost anything with it i didn't think it was going to be like that it was a pleasant surprise really i would have no problem pulling live bait with that are we, are we surrendering? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Good job today. Damn. Yeah, Not even six o'clock. Let me catch. Uh, I'm blessed. Thank you, Cat Mike. Yeah, I'm man. Just fucking blessed, Tommy. You're welcome, my brother. Bless. Hold on. Let me do one more. Uh...